So it's uh, Mary Ang here. I just had a talk with Chief Reese. Um, you know, one of the good things about just uh, going straight to the top is getting the information where it needs to be. In some ways, I'm apologizing to myself for waiting this long, but how perfect. He was there to testify for uh, Elizabeth Nichols' pepper spray down the throat and possibly um, trying to answer what exactly is the policy and whether or not the policy was violated about how much pepper spray a male officer can put down a woman's throat. And I thought, well, isn't this a great time to talk with him about um, how traumatic brain injury victims are going to be treated in the state of Portland, Oregon, or what kind of America are we going to have and what kind of global leadership we're going to have. I ended up having a really nice talk with him. What's really great about Chief Reese is his demeanor. He's very kind of like clean cut, open. I mean, he looks like he gardens. He looks like he's a good cook. He just has a very respectable glow and aura to him. He didn't pepper spray me. He didn't throw me down like Officer Clint threw um, Benjamin down. So I explained to him this whole thing about these uh, fictitious charges that are really weighing heavily on Benjamin's soul. And we're, we're going to try to work something out. I told him Benjamin is really interested in some kind of resolution and reconciliation and apology, maybe sitting down with the officers who assaulted him and talking about what happened and talking about about what his medical needs were at the time and how um, just a little bit more listening could have really prevented a great tragedy that's caused a great amount of pain and suffering in Benjamin's life and a, a great deal of fear regarding his med medical fragility. Um, so uh, Chief Reese uh, won't be able to say he doesn't remember this phone call because this was on the 16th floor of Mossman's court and thanks to Mossman kicking Ben out I got to speak to Reese alone and uh, he didn't uh, he didn't interrogate my motives I think he knew I was speaking straight from the heart about how we can get the police under control and I think I think Chief Reese will really look out for us in the future we talked about um, the registry to protect um, medical um, issues that might not be obvious if there's any kind of a detention or any kind of questioning going on in a law enforcement setting. So we are discussing those options and how to make needs known. And so that's actually really a fantastic outcome. And as for all these charges, he said, oh yeah, they're really hard to understand and the language can be confusing. And I explained issues about vision and hearing impairment as well as associated um, TBI symptoms and he seemed really understanding and then he was just headed marching straight in after about 10 minutes to go in and do his thing for the the pepper spray Jeff McDaniel case with um that Paisley Doris Paisley and her baton up on Elizabeth Nichols throat so I really have a lot to thank the Lawyers Guild for Ben Hale and his partner for helping uh, Elizabeth Nichols get this into court because without the opportunity of the clarity you can get on the 16th floor of the federal courthouse was I able to I wouldn't have been able to have such a great conversation with the chief of police about what happened in the case of Benjamin Pickering of course he denied knowing anything that's always a good first step but he's not going to be able to deny it next time and I'm, I'm making this YouTube partially um, so we have that clear before the public on the internet so I'm proud of him for at least having good human relations skills, which is definitely not the case for uh, Mr. Knob, the head chief of security for Mossman, put his hands all over Benjamin yesterday, really offensive, put his hands on me, really offensive. Um, complete disrespect for medical needs. One of the security guards, the blue jacketed ones, which are somehow like a separate division of labor, um, tried to deny Ben his access to his cane, which is very important for his um, regaining ability to walk after the TBI and a very important for balance, very important for sight and for the um, blind spot issues and for letting people know that there's something going on. So when that silly ancient security guard tried to deprive Ben of his walking cane in a federal courthouse, that was such a violation of a federal law, actually, quite disgraceful. And that Mossman kicked us out because of one verbal anomaly or kicked Ben out rather and allowed me back in. I had asked if a notebook was allowed, a digital notebook to type notes because I really want to get um, more focused on my law studies. But in the meantime, I'm dealing with post-police brutality 
aftershock, which is both legal and medical, and I feel up to my ears. But we made some good calls today. We called the Brain Alliance. They had some great information coming in the mail for us, and um, we've got the Independent Living Resource Group's number, and then um, some kind of independent living day groups, which would possibly give me a lot of latitude to get back to some of my studies and other interests. So we're building our resources building our friendships. I mean, trying to de-escalate the security at the U.S. District Court was really difficult, and I think they have a long way to come in terms of their disability friendliness. And of all places to be against disabled people at a federal courthouse, it's quite shocking, but not really shocking for Portland, Oregon, because then again, Portland police kill disabled people on a regular basis. So here we are oh, oh. doing everything I can to protect Benjamin Pickering. He's doing uh, doing great. Ben, do you got to say anything for the camera? Okay, well, that, that, that should wrap it up. And so, Reese is on notice. Um, we're not to be Benjamin Pickering again, Portland police officers. And you know, maybe we'll set up that face-to-face -face and get this all going and uh, figure out what were those officers thinking and what's their medical background? What's their EMT training? Wow. How far does their knowledge go of human beings with blindness or hearing or brain injuries? That that really needs to expand and I even mentioned my mom's uh, interest in TBI with the Veterans Administration and perhaps my mom could get some guest speakers to come educate the police so they just stop doing this kind of stuff. It's uh, really made Ben's life hell for the last few months and continues to cause a lot of suffering to me. Benjamin, can you hear me? It's on All right. microphone. Plain and clear. Okay.